All right, all right. That is my Ryobi drill I got from Home Depot. Uh, picked it up and I just uh, always want to read the manual and see what features it has just so I use it correctly. Again, I know how to use drills, but I don't, you know, some of the stuff you just take for granted and ignore it, mainly the clutch. There is a clutch, an adjusting torque clutch on these, and that is pretty much this up here. And that's what you heard in the beginning. That was the clutch pretty much slipping at a desired torque setting. So here it is right here on the thing. I'm gonna click over on this one. And you got the 24 position clutch. And that is always what some people don't know about. And I'm gonna go over and bring up the manual to your right. You will see the manual. You know, most people do not read the manual. I am guilty, even being an engineer. We always says RTFM, read the effing manual. Nobody ever would, and they would spend hours trying to figure out stuff when it was right in the manual. So I brought this up, and the hardest part of the manual was finding the manual. So the key thing I wanted to just get, get a better understanding of is the torque thing, right? And the torque is there to be your friend. It's there to um, assist you in whatever job you're doing. So let's just go through this really quick. It's just a drill. It's not, I mean, there are skills, there are techniques to use in a drill. Obviously, don't when you're drilling something, don't put force, you'll break the bit, right? And then you got to go buy more bits. All right. So we got the adjusting torque, and that's over here. This is your torquey thing right here, right there. Your torquey knob. <laughs> All right. Uh, you basically rotate the adjustment ring to the proper torque setting for the type of material and size of screw you are using. So that is the old right there. Here you go. And that's, it goes from up to one, up to 21, 20, one, two, three. There's 24 positions. The last position, as you can see right here, has a little image on it and it's for heavy drilling. So one to four for driving in the small screws, five to eight for driving screws in the soft material, uh, nine to 12 for driving screws in the soft and hard materials, 13 to 16 for driving screws in the hard wood, and uh, 17 to 23 for driving those large screws. Uh, if you're doing drywall, you, you know, the case, use case would be, you don't wanna over torque it, because you're going to drive that drywall screw right through the paper and the drywall into the stud and then you broke the paper and uh, it's not going to hold the drywall up. So, you know, you can typically set it on a lower clutch setting. Here's what it sounds like. I'm going to take it all the way back down to one and I'm just going to hold it here and you'll hear it. As you're driving the screw in, it'll start slipping when you reach the, the torque setting. That's on one. That's four. And you can also set that down to one if you're putting your bit in and you can hold the outer chuck, the keyless chuck right here. This part, just put your hand over it, put it on one setting, boom, and that'll just uh, pretty much ratchet down on your uh, bit you have in here, whether a drill bit or a you know screw bit, you know, a Phillips or whatever kind of bit you need for the job you're doing. All right, let's go through. Also with that too, you have the two-speed gear train. That's on top right here. Two speed gearbox provides zero to 450 and zero to 1750 RPM. Uh, if you're new to it and you just don't want to make sure you're going to destroy the work you're doing, just go one, go slow speed, and then get used to the tool, and then you can crank her up to two. You just got to learn the tool to do it, and the torque thing is very powerful. Let's go on. What do we got over here? Look at that. Torque. 515 inch pounds torque, baby. I'm on the Ryobi site. I know there's other drills. I've just been, you know, once you buy the battery supplies, the packs, the chargers, you kind of get stuck into that ecosystem of that brand. So the tools work for me. They haven't really broken on me. A couple little minor things like the LED lights go out on the uh, multi-tool I have. But uh, as stuff starts failing on me and breaking, I'll probably switch over to a Milwaukee brand for a, you know, bigger price point, but better tool for the, for more durable, durable uses, right? All right, let's see, there we go. Let's, I'm trying to find something here. Oh, he's doing a nice little thing there. Look at that ratcheting. Ooh, look at that. Oh, you can buy so much. All right, that's all I got. I just wanted to point out that I, I've always knew the torque thing was there. 
And I thought, hey, I'm going to read the manual. Hey, why not make a stupid little video? Maybe someone else just has not taken the time to read the manual. And you're wondering why you're driving screws through the material and destroying your work. Just put a low torque setting on based on the amount of work you're doing. You know, like it says, for the small screws, the material. Uh, if you're undoing bolts, you know, you might want to crank up the torque. If you're trying to unloosen auto bolts, bolts on automobiles or you know machines or something like that, but woodworking and that, you probably want to go down to the lower torque setting and drywall too. All right, that's all I got. Uh, let me know. I'm just curious, what type of tools are you guys buying? What brand do you guys like? Uh, like I said, I just got suckered in the Rio because Depot has it. But now that I'm using tools more, I kind of like the Milwaukee brand. Not so much Dewalt, but Milwaukee. And but my Ryobi stuff works. Some small things break nothing major uh i had a tire uh, a little blower thing and uh the fan motor just kind of the wires came loose i just popped it open and resoldered the, the wires and boom it's back to working but anyway just curious what you guys are buying what you guys swear by uh that's all i got man go forth do great things a little tool tip break from the regular stuff just trying to show the day-to-day -day life of uh, what i do and what i experience and uh, tools are one of them. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any use, thumbs up, subscribe. Love it. Take care. I gotta go find my dog. All right, time to walk the dog.